That's actually a dandelion. We should show them what the dandelion looks like. But she just dug it up. Which so. of course I just dug up because I didn't want it to interfere with um, the chamomile. But how interesting this is, uh, as Erica said. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Just let me break up the root ball and get this in here before the poor little plant gets too dried out because it is 80 degrees out here. Okay, back to the dandelion. So the interesting thing about identifying a dandelion, if you look at the uh, at this leaf, it looks a lot like another common plant called a hawkbit. And one of the most um, identifiable things about the dandelion leaf is to look at the underside of the leaf and notice the midrib of the leaf and it's completely hairless. So that is a very important identifying characteristic. So this is a close-up of the dandelion and again one of the most notifiable uh, identifying characteristics of a dandelion leaf and uh, which as I said can look a lot like a common plant called a hawkbit which is not a medicinal plant is the fact that it has no hairs on that midrib the the middle part of the of the leaf so always turn the leaf over and and take a good look at that and I think what's interesting here too Doreen is the if you look at the um, serrated edge you're yeah. wondering how to identify the dandelion because they want to make dandelion tea and dandelion coffee and you can use the dandelion greens in the spring in your salads in Italian markets they actually sell them in the markets so if you're an organic gardener you're saving yourself money because you don't have to go and buy it you can just go and pick it out of your lawn exactly so so rather than spraying your dandelions eat, eat them. your dandelions <laughs>